Well, I've built um, some fly traps I'm putting around Tokoroa. Uh, they'll catch about 58 million flies before they're full. And that's largely because I really don't fancy anything. <laughs> so how do you know that they'll catch 58 million flies? How did you work that out? Well, first I um, used the rescue brand fly traps. They used to be stocked at Bunnings, hint, hint, Bunnings, but they don't stock them anymore. And they are, I'd guess, around about 700 mils. And the rescue people have actually counted the, how many flies go in their traps, and it's 20,000. So based on that and based on the volume of the traps I had, it calculates out to 58 million flies um, of the 12 traps I've made. So how do the traps work? They are very similar to the kind of domestic models that you maybe hang at the back of your house or whatever, are they? The fly, well, It's like mostly, Hotel California. The flies can check in, but, but they, they can never leave. Get out. Yeah. 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 And so it basically just attracts a lot of flies in, and they basically they drown, they die from the ammonia in the air, and they just... The okay. And what attracts them in there? You just put what at the bottom of the trap? Um, cabbage is good for housefly, uh, fish, raw meat, um, uh, liver is good to attract blowfly, but quite frankly, whatever you put in there, the flies will check it out. Can you show us one for people who are watching and for people who are listening? We will describe it as you do so, John. Okay. Now, for people listening on the radio, that sound is John walking through his house. So, you, so, you, so you're taking a, tra a trap inside? Yes, it's the only way you're going to see it. And uh, get your get an eyeful quickly because it's not going to stay that way. <laughs> the, so, so this is a $15 warehouse Pyroplast bin. The others have made from farming bins. This one's 72 litres. Um, and what happens is the flies uh, see the cans here. It's hard to point this camera like this. No, so you've got a bog standard rubbish bin, and your entry yep. points are cans. Cans. Uh, punch and cans. cans. A shade over the cans. Fly goes in there and can't get out. So you and now put the trap out. Wow! So you um, so you just attach some basic drink oh. cans to the side Don't of a see. rubbish bin. The flies fly in through the cans and they just can't it's get out. It's my house right now. Whoa. Okay. I did that because I love you, John Campbell. <laughs> that's, that's very kind, John Berry. Thanks. Greater love hath no man. <laughs> so, well, well, I know that I don't, I don't want to go on the record as being a fly advocate because, frankly, I hate them. But is yeah. there a danger we can kill too many flies? Clearly, you don't feel that way. No, I mean... A single fly, I've done some research, a single fly lays 500 eggs uh, in its lifetime. Um, they hatch pretty quickly, so it doesn't take many flies to get a lot more flies. Um, one sheep will produce about a million flies. There are between 120,000 and 200,000 species of fly. We're not going to kill them all. No, okay. There are a lot of things going extinct right now. Flies are not one of them. No, okay, so we don't, we don't have to ever save the fly campaign. What's been no. the response in Tokoroa? How have people reacted to it? Well, very positively. Um, mostly one or two people concerned about flies, but the rest um, are against flies and very much like to see them dead. And have you noticed a difference already in terms of the yeah. pest factor of flies in your neighbourhood? Up until I dragged the trap into my house, yes. <laughs> now, now, and now they're back. So, so, so you think they're already working? Yeah, they are, definitely. And I've delivered them to some people. And I've only asked, I haven't gone back to one person as yet, but they have said they've got fewer flies. And so now this is going to be something that Tokoroa will do municipally, that the, the town is getting behind it, right? 
Well, the people are. I hope the council does. So I'm going to put a bit of pressure on the council because it doesn't really cost anything. And it's just it just makes summer a lot more fun to not have an excess number of flies. People are using over one can of fly spray a day, every day to kill the flies in their house. That's disgusting. It, this, it doesn't smell good to have that those chemicals. The chemicals are bad. The flies are bad. Let's get rid of both of them.